but this leads us to one very big question and the question is is full table scan good or bad is index scan good or bad and as an interviewer when i am interviewing a dbas this is something secret you can get to know this is one of my favorite questions in performance tuning because understanding of this question defines the understanding of the database architecture you have and also the performance tuning <clears throat> the biggest question with indexes is first i will show you a real world problem then maybe you might understand uh, the scenario and you yourself might come up with the solutions guys i'll consider um, we won't be able to um, i'm just thinking of a good example all right so there is a query sql query which is using a uh, index uh, okay uh, let me try to come up with some query guys that will be good for you to understand so select star from emp where <clears throat> uh, emp id is less than 5000 i'm trying to come up with some scenario if you see employee id is an index column right and so in in your table when when you tend to analyze the data we see that 99% of the employees id is uh, less than 5000 uh, i mean the exact employee id number guys okay so all the employees like we have 5500 employees so that means 4999 employee ids this employee id numbers will always be less than 5000 and there are only 500 employees that are that have the employee id above the of hmm. 5000 employee id number now if somebody is writing this kind of query do you see the output consists of 80% of the sampling or we can technically say 90% of the records from the table so this is a very debatable topic if you are writing a query which is using a index that is technically returning 90% of the records this is where using index will cause poor performance <clears throat> all right i'll repeat this is where if oracle is using indexes in this stage that means you are already pulling up 90% of the records and technically you are i mean the performance has been degraded the reason for the performance degrade is something i'll talk about it in some time so uh, the hypothesis because i just want to give you the uh, solutions the solution is use indexes when the sampling or the the output records is very less let's take you are querying 10% of the entire table records or maybe 5% of the records or maybe 20% of the records then uh, having indexes is, is amazing okay but when when your data sampling or the output records is something like 90% or maybe it's it's going to um 99% of the records of the tables will be outputted then full table scan is better than an better than a index now why it is better is more important to understand see in the full table scan what happens is uh what oracle will do is it will quickly get into the disk and it will start reading the data side by side inside the blocks which are uh, having the records so that way oracle knows okay this is how i have to read the data but when it comes to index what oracle has to do is oracle has to first refer to an index which has the emp id and then row id right and 
it is like 1001, 1002, 1003 and so on. And it has to look at these row IDs. In this case, the problem will be Oracle will go to the index, read this record and it will, it will try to filter the record and then it will see whether it has to be given to the user or not. So over here, what happens is the reading to the index uh, in, sorry, reading index heavily for more number of records is actually poor for the database. Why indexes are created? Get to the fundamentals. Indexes are created to locate a particular lesson in your book as fast as possible. But if you want to locate all the lessons in series, then it is better you flip on pages in the book because that will be faster. You're flipping one page after the uh, other page. But in an index, you will first go to lesson one page and then come back to the index, find the lesson two page number, then go to the lesson two, then come back to the index, find the lesson three page number, then go to the lesson three. I guess you guys are getting what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so, most of the times, the simplest hypothesis hypothesis is create indexes on the columns where you access the data and the output number of records is pretty less, like 5% or 10%. But don't create an index where you use the column and the output data is like 90% of the table or 60% of the table. So guys, this is debatable topic like, uh, and but this is the bottom line, all right? So when creating indexes inside a table, of course, this is unavoidable index, it is a primary key, but I'm talking about on other columns inside the table. When you're creating indexes, make sure you're creating indexes only on the columns where the output sampling will always be very less. All right, don't try to create a, a index on where your output sampling will result into 90% of the records from the table.